Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how I build a comfy server on Modal with customizable node installations and downloadable models. If you have a powerful PC that can run video generation models requiring strong GPUs, that's great. But I know many people, like me, don't have such PCs yet still want to try these models, maybe just out of curiosity to test a newly released one. In those cases, I use the Modal platform. I find them quite generous offering $30 per month free credit per account. I'm not advertising here, just sharing what I currently use. In this video, I'll mainly cover how to set up and run a few pre-built workflows in ComfyUI for the one video model, just to test it out. Here are some test results I got with the one video model using Kijai's pre-built workflows integrated into Comfy. Let's get started. First, go to the repo link. I've put the link in the comments. This repository contains the necessary files to deploy the Comfy UI web interface using Modal. We'll clone the repo to your machine. Then you just need to install the Modal and Tormel libraries to read the config file. If you don't have a Modal account yet, sign up at modal.com using your Gmail. After that, go to this link to create a token. Paste the token creation command into the command window. Next, create a hugging face token with at least red permissions, then store it on modal using the command modal secret create. Just replace the token value with your own. The token name must stay the same. Now, let's take a look at the config file before we deploy the app to Modal. Go into the folder you just cloned and open the config.toml file. You can use any text editor. I'll open it with Notepad++ since it's similar to what most people have if they don't use a code editor. You can select the Tomel language option to make it a bit easier to read. In the Modal settings section, value of concurrent inputs I set to 100. Pretty high, but just as a threshold in case we need it. In diffusion models, you can denoise multiple images concurrently. In order to take full advantage of this, containers need to be processing multiple inputs concurrently. The container idle timeout value means the container will fully shut down after 60 seconds of being idle. So, in the browser, after you close Comfy UI, the container first goes into idle mode, then shuts off completely after 60 seconds. If you restart it from idle, it boots up a bit faster, but from a full shutdown, called a cold start, it takes longer. Since the model still deducts credits in idle mode, I don't want this value too high. The timeout is set to 1800 seconds, about 30 minutes, because with a GPU like the A10G, some heavy workflows take over 20 minutes, so I set it to 30 minutes for safety. In the GPU setting, I've listed the GPU types modal supports. Usually I choose the A140 gigabytes or A180 gigabytes depending on the workflow. The nodes section defines the nodes to be installed for Comfy. Here, I've pre-installed some common nodes. You can skip installing a node by commenting out its line with a pound sign. If you want to add a node, copy its link and place it on the bottom line. Note that you'll also need to add any dependencies if the node requires them. For example, if I add the Live Portrait node, I copy its link, then paste it into this section, make sure to put the links in quotation marks, and separate the node links with commas. Then, copy the contents of its requirements and add them to the Packages section like this. I'm just giving an example in case you need to add a node. I'll remove it since the workflows I plan to use don't need these nodes. Also, note that you shouldn't install too many nodes. It'll slow down the startup process. And adding too many dependencies might cause version conflicts with the ones pre-built in the image. In the section defining the models to download, I've mainly listed models related to WAN and Hanyuan video. If you're only using WAN, 
you can comment out the Hunyuan related models to avoid extra download time. Though downloading is super fast with the Hugging Face Hub library, grabbing all the Hunyuan models still adds a few minutes. If you later want to add those models, just uncomment those lines and redeploy. On subsequent deploys, it won't re-download models already fetched, only new ones. So redeploying is fast thanks to caching. And one thing I find generous about Modal is they let you store models without extra fees. If you want to download an additional model, you need to fill the link and type variables. The type variable determines the folder where the file is saved. By default, the file name is pulled from the download link. But if you want to rename it, declare that variable. The for variable doesn't need to be declared. I just put it there as a placeholder for potential unimplemented features. For example, if I download a LoRa from this link, here's how it's done. After editing the config file, remember to save it. We can now deploy to the modal platform. Navigate to the programs folder, open the command window, and run the command modal deploy. First, the program will set up the base image and necessary dependencies. Then, install Comfy UI along with the nodes specified in the config file, and finally download the models. We can also track the logs on the modal platform. OK, after about 28 minutes, the app has finished deploying. You can check the start and end times in the logs to see how long the deploy took. We don't get charged for this deployment time. Go to the app section, click on the UI, and access the link Modal provides to open the Comfy UI interface. When Comfy starts for the first time, it displays a few workflow templates. We'll try running some one-related workflows, starting with text-to-image. I'll test a few pre-prepared prompts to test multiple prompts at once use a combination of these two nodes. Convert positive prompt to input. This node will read each prompt line from the multi-line text node and feed them one by one for each run. We can check which prompt is running using the show text node. I'll keep the video size and frame count unchanged along with the other parameters. First, hit run to see which node comfy flags with an error. Then fix the node marked in red. After that, adjust the queue count to match the number of prompts, five in this case, and hit run again. Since we're running on an A180 gigabyte GPU, we don't need to use block swap. I forgot to disconnect it before running, so I'll cancel the process and refresh to reload. I've set Comfy UI to run in verbose mode, so in the console log, you might see more logs than usual. This is to monitor the process closely. If an error occurs, it'll be easier to pinpoint the cause. At the output node, the video result is displayed. In many cases, if it doesn't show immediately, you can check the Comfy output volume for the results. This volume stores all workflow outputs. The first prompt's result isn't quite what I wanted. I intended to create a whale made of clouds drifting in the sky. The runtime for the first video with this model and selected video size is about four minutes. Subsequent videos will run faster since the models are already loaded. One thing to note, prepare your workflow in advance, perhaps on a local comfy setup to avoid wasting time editing on modal. Also, run it in a loop with multiple inputs at once to optimize costs. Okay, let's check some results.
Okay, next, I'll try the image to video workflow using an end frame. I'll fix a few paths to make them correct. Then use a prompt along with pre-prepared start and end frame images. The input frame count is typically rounded to the formula 4K plus one. This workflow doesn't yet have an output node that only saves the video. It currently has a node for saving a combined video, so I'll add that node. Like before, I'll remove block swap. At the time of recording, I tried using the torch compiler node to see if it speeds things up, but unfortunately, it errored out during the run. I'll look into fixing that error and push it to the repo later. Okay, let's run it. Hopefully, we'll get a funny video. It took about six minutes to generate the video with the resolution and frame count we just used. The result isn't too bad. Now, let's try another example. This time, I'll use a start frame and end frame generated by ChatGPT, along with a matching prompt. The result is pretty good. In this video, I've only tested the pre-built workflows in ComfyUI. There are a few more workflows I haven't tried. You can test them and let me know the results, okay? Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful.